Hey Powell family, welcome to your Pilates class. So for today you are going to need a light hand of hand weight, so make sure you have that handy. Um, other than that, you just need yourself and your mat. And so if you are ready to go, let's do this. All right, so when you're ready, go ahead and come to the back of your mat. Let's get ready to warm it up. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Big reach through the shoulders. The next time, add the arms, reach overhead, and then exhale, tuck the chin to the chest. Roll it all the way down, fold forward. Kind of let the crown of your head just hang heavy. You can sh shake it yes or no. And then one vertebra stacking on top, roll all the way up. Big reach, inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale again, tuck the chin to the chest. Roll all the way down into your forward fold. Just kind of hang out here. Take a breath and then on your next exhale, walk yourself out to plank and hold your plank here. Pull in the abdominals, press the heels to the wall behind you. Take the feet about hip distance apart. Make sure the wrists are directly below the shoulders. Find that connection through the core. And then bring the feet together, zip the inner thighs together. We're gonna bend the knees, sit the hips back, and then come forward. As we do this, we're gonna twist towards one side. So coming onto the balls of the feet, gently twist them side to side. So starting to warm up through the obliques. Make sure when you come back forward, you're coming back into your plank. You're not dropping the hips or pressing the booty up high to the sky. So stay nice and connected with your breath here. And then when you're ready, see if you can't just pick up the pace a little bit, squeezing through the obliques, bracing through the abdominals. One more. Come to center, hold your plank, take the feet a little wider, and now just alternating, tap the toe in, almost like you're gonna go into a mountain climber. But you're staying nice and stable, nice and centered. Pull the abdominals in, stay strong. Corkscrew the hands into the mat. So the insides of your elbows are facing forward. Last two, hold it. We're gonna walk it all the way back in to rise. And then unravel, come back down, walk it out. Come back to the plank. Walk it all the way back in, rise. So keep the abdominals strong as you walk in and out from standing to plank. Really want to focus on building that core strength. The next time you're in plank, hold. Go ahead and lower onto the forearms. Make sure your booty's not high up to the sky or sagging down to the floor, but find that neutral and then drop the knees and lift. So really pull in the lower abs, the transverse abdominus. We really want to warm up the core to get ready for class. Make sure you're staying with your breath. Two more. And from here, we're just gonna saw forward and back. So the shoulders are coming forward and then you're pressing back into the heels. So tippy toes, heels, shoulders forward and back. Stay for five. Stay for three, two, one more and release. Nice job. All right, right now is when you're gonna need those hand weights. So go ahead and grab your lightweight hand weights. There goes my ball, but you're not going to need that, so no worries. Bring those waist together. Go ahead and lean back till your chest is behind the belly button, and then we're going to come into Russian twist. So you're tapping the elbow to the floor, keeping the abdominals braced. Try not to let the knees rock up and down. Keep everything nice and centered. Twisting just through the oblique, so keep this in the abdominals. And make sure you're breathing. It's really easy to start to hold the breath when we work the core. So keep breathing. You're just kind of sandwiching those weights together, holding them in the hands. One more each side. Slowly come all the way down. Come into tabletop. The hands are gonna be down when the knees are in, and then as you extend, we're gonna extend everything up and out. I'm a little close to my curtain, so I'm gonna move here. Extend in and out, and then contract, pull everything in. So as you do this, make sure you're keeping your lower back connected with the floor. So if you start to feel the lower back lift up, just take the legs up a little closer to the ceiling and make sure you're maintaining contact through the entirety of your back. 
Exhale as you contract and inhale as you find that length. So really staying connected with your core here. Keep breathing. One more. The next time you pull it in, we're gonna bring the arms up. Now from here, we're gonna straighten out those legs and then lower and lift the legs. You're keeping the arms directly over the shoulders. Maintain that lower back contact with the floor. So if you need to keep the legs in a shorter range of motion, maybe only lower halfway, that's fine. Stay within your range of motion so you can keep your lower back connected with the floor. Keep breathing. Keep your core strong. Two more. And then we're gonna go into bicycles in the legs only. So bend those legs, extend the right, and then switch. The arms are still over the shoulders. You're still scooping in the abdominals, keeping your lower back connected with the mat. Nice job, stay with it. Two more. Slowly release, we're gonna pull everything up. Hold here in the boat. Now if you need to, feel free to drop the heels, take a little recovery, but if you can keep them up, palms stay high to the sky, and now we're just gonna lift and lower the arms as we keep the abdominals braced and strong. Five, four, three, two, we're just gonna add a little leg. So bring the weights together behind the knee. Now again, if you're modifying, feel free just to drop the heel and then bring the leg in. But again, if you can keep on floating, see if you can try for that. You never know what you're capable of until you try. Stay with it, come on. Keep the core strong. Three, two, and release, roll it up. You only need one dumbbell. We're gonna set up into a side tabletop. So you're gonna have one knee directly under the hip and then the hand directly under the shoulder. From there, find length through the top leg that's floating and extend the opposite arm overhead. We're gonna contract top arm and top leg together and then extend everything out. Exhale, contract. Inhale, find length. Nice job. Keep pressing the floor away through the bottom knee and hand. Make sure you're breathing. The next time you extend out, hold. Bring the arm over the shoulder, so find that engagement, and now lower and lift this top leg. Really engaging the outside of the glutes. So as you do this, make sure to not open the hip up to the ceiling. Keep the hip square to the front. Make sure you're also keeping the shoulder stacked, so the arm's not down here by the ribs or overhead, but it's directly over that shoulder. We're gonna go back into the contractions. So extend it out and pull it in. Nice job. Breathe. One more, hold it out, lift the arm, lower and lift that top leg. Breathe. Stay for five, three, two, release. Don't switch sides, we're gonna lower onto that hip. So now you're coming onto the forearm. So make sure that elbow is directly below the shoulder. Your bottom knee is bent, extend that top leg, reach the top arm overhead. Now feel free if you wanna modify to not use a weight, but if you can, stay with me, grab that weight. Bend your top leg, so now it's directly on top of that bottom leg. We're gonna sweep the knee forward, extend it out and bring it back in like a bicycle. As you do this though, you have a starting point and it's your hip bone. So make sure the legs aren't falling together or you're not lifting it up to make space. Stay in your alignment, stay in your engagement. Also make sure you're not dumping into this bottom shoulder. So keep lifting up and out of the shoulder. Feel the outside of that booty, come on. One more, hold it here. And now we're going to switch direction. So bring it forward and take it back. You got it. Really keep this top arm straight. So if you feel like you're having to start bending it in, go ahead, just drop the weight, release it. We really wanna focus on the bottom half of the body here. 
Also, make sure we're not swinging the upper body. So if you're extending so far back, you have to tip forward, or so far forward, you have to tip back. Shorten your range of motion so you can keep the upper body stable, focusing only on the lower half. Three more. Two, hold the leg straight out. <clears throat> Excuse me, lift and lower that top leg. For seven. For five. Three, two, and release. Okay, go ahead, set your weight off to the side. The same leg you were just working, we're gonna step that foot in between the hands, extend the other leg back. So make sure this front knee is directly over the ankle, so find that engagement. Take a nice deep inhale. Get ready to step the leg forward and back. So inhale, rise up. Exhale, bring the hands to the floor. Extend the leg back, bring it forward, plant it. Inhale, rise up, back. Extend, forward, and rise. Nice job. So we're still digging deep into the outside of that glute. So when you rise up in your lunge, lunge, <laughs> lunge, chest over hips, find that um, alignment, find that engagement. So make sure you come up fully into that lunge. So we're not keeping the chest dipping forward. Nice job, breathe. One more time, this time we're gonna hold the lunge up. Take the hands behind the back. We're gonna power through the strength of this top leg to just pop the bottom leg off. So it's a little weight shift forward and back, but you're keeping this leg low. You're keeping it loaded up, knee over ankle. So you really feel the outside of that booty firing up. So try not to stand up. Try not to straighten this front leg. Fire it up, baby, come on. Two more, hold it. Well, now we're gonna reach the arms straight out in front of us, powering through this leg, so keep it loaded up. Step the back leg in and then extend it out. So again, we're not standing up. Whew, outside of that booty, come on. Stay connected with your breath. Keep load in the leg that we're working, you got this. Stay for five. Stay for four. She's three. She's two. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. You have about 90% of the weight in this leg, only 10% in this leg. Float it up, balance. Find that stability. Ooh, can you sink a little deeper into this leg? Really dig in deep, come on. Three, two, <laughs> and rise up. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I hope you felt that in that booty. All right, we're gonna come back to the floor. So come into a plank. We're going to cross the ankles, one on top of the other. So what leg were you working? Cross that on top of the other ankle. Open up your hips to face the front. And then we're gonna drive ourselves up. As you do this, we're working on the obliques. So pull the obliques up and in. Exhale, inhale, find length. Contract, contract, contract. Inhale, find length. You got it, come on. When you come back to that plank, make sure your shoulders are directly over the wrists. Crown of the head pulling forward. Find that link through the body. Keep pulling through the obliques. So you should really feel the side abdominals here. When you're up in this contraction, the sides of your abs are fired up. One more. Slowly come back to center, lower back onto that forearm. Stack the feet. Again, whatever leg we've been working is on top. Reach the arm overhead and contract and extend. Now, if this gets to be too much here in this plank, drop the bottom leg. So we can really focus on the obliques, the abs, and this top leg glute. So if you need to drop that leg, feel free to drop that leg. But if you can, keep up on the feet, off the knees, and keep with it. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're lifting up and out of this bottom shoulder so we're not collapsing into it. Two more. Last one. And release. Go ahead, come onto the back. Roll all the way down. We're gonna go into single leg switches. So start with one leg up, point the toe, find that length, grab behind the calf, extend the other leg out long so you have like a open scissor shape. We're gonna switch. Exhale as you pull it up. Inhale as you find that length. Upper body is off the floor and engaged, so you're pulling the chest 
towards the thighs rather than lifting through the neck. Keep grabbing for the back of that calf. Stay with it. One more hold. From here, we're gonna pull ourselves up into a tuck. Both knees come together. As you lower down, you extend. Exhale, pull up. Extend. Now, can you take the arms out of the equation and just use your abdominals? Exhale up. Inhale, find length. Exhale up. Inhale, find length. Really working through those obliques. Come on. Stay with me. Three more. Two more. Last one. Hold it. Fingertips behind the ears. Crunch it up. Let's go. You got it. You're almost there. We get to do this all over again on the other side. Five, four, three, two, release. Roll it all the way up. All right, grab that one dumbbell again. Right into it. Let's do this. So make sure your knee is under the hip, your wrist is under the shoulder. Find that extension, find that length, and contract. Extend, contract. Breathe. Exhale, inhale. Keep your hips open to the front. Make sure you're not closing to the floor or opening up to the ceiling. We want to keep the hips square. Breathe. Can you get your elbow and your knee to actually make contact, to touch? Stay with it. Find that extension, find that length, and then contract it back in. On the next one, hold it out. Arm over the shoulder, lift and lower that top leg. You got this, stay with it. Breathe. I know the booty. Three, two, extend the arm back overhead. Again, contract and extend, nice job. Breathe. Keep your hips lifted up. Also make sure on this bottom arm, we're not dumping into that shoulder. Keep pressing yourself up and out of that shoulder joint. Find strength, corks through the hand of the floor so the inside of the elbow is going forward. One more, hold it out, bring the arm up, pulse it up, let's go. Stay for five, stay for three, two and release. Go ahead and come all the way down onto the forearm and onto that hip. We're keeping the weight overhead. We bicycle the leg. So even though we're in this modified type position, we're on the hip, we don't want to just be sagging in. Keep pulling up through the obliques to find length and keep pressing yourself up and out of the shoulder joint. Nice job, stay with it. Again, keep that leg in line with your hips, so make sure the leg's not sinking to the floor or lifting up high. Really work the outside of that booty, you got this. Stay for three, stay for two, hold. We're now gonna switch, so sweep it forward and then back, you got it. Again, keep that leg in line with the hip. I know as the booty gets tired, you're gonna to wanna to start to drop that leg, but I encourage you, keep it up. That's how you're really gonna dig deep into that muscle. Pilates is great for getting into those areas we didn't even know we had. So stay with it, breathe, come on. Keep lifting up through the obliques, keep lifting up and out of that shoulder. You got this, let's go. I hope you feel that glute fired up. Come on. You're almost there, stay with me. I know it burns. Hold it out and lift. Whew, really dig deep. Now this arm, make sure it's staying over the shoulder. So don't let it start to drift down just because the hip is getting tired. Keep your form. Three, two, and release. Oh my goodness, flip it into tabletop. Awesome job so far. All right, so we're gonna come into our standing lunges back into the plank. So. The leg that we're working, step that leg through, get ready to work here. Hands to the floor, lift that back leg up. So as we step it back, we float. 
step it right back into that lunge, lift the chest up all the way over the hip so you're actually coming into a lunge, take it back, sweep it, step it forward, rise up, take it down, sweep it back. So keep flowing between these. Make sure you're rising all the way up into the lunge. You got it, stay with me. I know the outside of that booty is on fire. Pilates is low impact for sure, but that doesn't make it easy. One more time, we're gonna stay up. So go ahead and stay up in this lunge. Shift your weight forward but make sure the hips are staying centered. Take the hands behind the back, stay loaded up in this front leg and shift forward and back. Now, as you shift forward, avoid straightening the leg. We wanna keep load in this leg. So it's a very small movement, just forward and back. Keep your focus forward on the floor, find your balance, find your stability, stay with it, come on. One more, hold, extend the arms out, and now we're gonna pull the leg in and out, so pull it in and out. When you pull the leg in, no weight goes into it. So the stabilizing leg is still fired up, it's still loaded up. Stay with it, come on. Really pull it in. Can you sink a little deeper into the leg that we're working? Fire it up, come on. Two more, pull it forward and hold, balance. Maybe this foot doesn't even touch the floor. You're really loaded up in this leg, sink just a little deeper. Feel the outside of your glute engaging. Hold, 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 hold. Three, two, release. Nice job. All right, straight away, come in to your plank. The leg that we're working stacks. Open your hips to face the front, and then we drive the hips up by scooping in the obliques. And then we come back forward into our plank. So when you're forward, shoulders are directly over wrists. And then you're contracting the obliques as you drive up, exhale. Inhale, find length. Exhale, drive up. You got it, come on. Stay with it. Breathe. You're doing great, last two. Last one, lower down onto the forearm. Extend the arm overhead and we pull the knee and the elbow together. Now remember on this one again, you can modify by bending that bottom leg, but your hips this time, it's very different than the first round being lower down. Your hips are not on the floor. So we're not here doing the leg. We're lifting ourselves up and out of it, extending the arms and then finding that contraction. You got it. Stay with it, come on. Last three, last two, last one. Nice job. All right, we're coming back onto our backs. I'm gonna face this way so I've got my leg facing you. That leg floats up, the same leg we've been working. Other leg extends out. Grab behind the calf and we're scissor switching. Here we go. Make sure you're exhaling on the switch. Keep breathing. It's so tempting to hold our breath. Stay for three. Stay for two. Hold that leg up. Now we're gonna crunch ourselves up into a tuck. Can you not use the arms? Exhale, lift up. Inhale, find that length. We're here for 10, there's three. Come on, you got this. Two more. We're not gonna break, we're gonna go right into bicycles. Fire up the abdominals, here we go. Exhale, switch. As you twist, think shoulder to knee, not elbow to knee, so you get a bigger range of motion. Really get into those obliques, come on. Stay with it. Make sure that lower back is maintaining contact with the floor. You got this. Stay for five, four, three, two, 
release. Roll it all the way over and into a plank. <laughs> We're almost there, stay with me, come on. We're gonna slowly be approaching that finisher. Coming into plank, step the right foot so the knee touches the elbow, extend it back, and then switch to the left. As you do this, pull the abdominals in. Really, really, really fire them up. Corkscrew the hands into the floor, inside of the elbows facing forward. Breathe. Oh, I hope you feel your obliques. I sure do. Stay with it. Come on. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I know, I know. Stay for five. Four. Three more. Two more. One on each side. Don't drop, hold your plank. Hold it, hold it, just 10. Eight, six, come on, four, three, two, and release it all the way back into a child's pose. Oh my goodness, you crushed that Pilates class. That was not easy, you did so good. Roll yourself all the way up. Inhale, find length through the body. Exhale, gently twist to one side. Breathe. Inhale, reach up again, find length. Exhale to the other side. Inhale again, find length. Fold yourself forward. Tuck the toes under. Drive your sit bones high to the sky. Come into your pike. Scoop the abdominals in. Power through your core as you walk the hands back to the feet. Come into this forward fold. Take a nice deep breath. Bend the knees, roll it up. And rise. Awesome job, Pellwell family. You crushed that Pilates class. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, because we're gonna keep releasing new Pilates content every week. So until next time, be well.